Squirrel Girl and friends, Koi Boy and Chipmunk Hunk, are throwing a party in the park. Ahem. I mean, holding an awareness-raising event for the Fuzzy Foundation. Fuzzy, of course, standing for Friends of Unbeatable Zoocentric Youngsters. Maybe you need to work on a snappier title. And also not hold the event in a snowstorm? Check out that sweet cosplay dude they've got to MC. That costume is awesome! It almost looks like the real MODOK. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So anyway, everyone was having a great time, despite the snow. But then strange things started to happen. Fight! Harsh words are bound. All seemingly in the vicinity of a funny-looking squirrel beast. This is not going to help improve the rep of woodland rodents. Squirrel Girl thinks she smells the work of an old foe, Roboto Skrr, a.k.a. Girl Squirrel. Some trickster squirrel from Asgard that spreads discord and general bad juju. Should it be sparking like that? Like it's a robot? These poor critter lovers have been mind-messed into breaking up the meditation class. And I don't think putting those turtles in the boating lake will make them less angry, guys. The water looks freezing. That's just a waste of good pizza! The suspiciously well-costumed MC urges the heroes to restore order and the good name of rodents everywhere. Go get them, forest friends! Dang! I think we've seen this thing before, and we defeated it, but last time we had a lot of help. Oh, this could get messy. They have hostages, and that music. Oh. Not your thing? <laughs> I'm kind of digging it. This should be easy. Yo, Koi Boy, <gasps> Sally Forth, speak to those turtles and tell them to cease and desist their harassment of the good people of New York. I cannot communicate with these creatures. Are turtles fish? Hmm. Are they fish adjacent? Sometimes I wonder whether you guys understand my powers at all. I mean, they're kind of fish adjacent. I would have thought you could do that. I have to say, I'm a little disappointed. Hey. Don't be like that. I'm still useful. I'm gonna get in there and take a look.
Boy, I could use a superhero right now. I have no idea how that happened. Thanks, true believers. Hey, don't be off. Is this really an improvement? Dang. Try again. Oh, now this is nice. <laughs> if I had some nuts right now, you could leave me here all day. Holy carp. That's beautiful. Oh. How long have you been sat on that piece of solid gold punnery? Since I came up with my name. Security? I have to improvise. Besides, this thing is cheaper to run. Get ready, Modok. It's time to eat nuts and kick butt. And sadly for you, I'm all out of nuts. <laughs> Face-in-the-hole stand. There are three boards around the park. When you find them, there will be a clue to help you out. Once you've done all three, there will be a huge reward. Well, a reward anyway.
real Moda, you can spot genuine big evil floating heads a mile away. Remember I mentioned it in the intro cutscene? A real cosplay piece would have passed out by now from wearing all that paper mache. Modoc's plan to besmirch the good name of our bushy-tailed heroine is up in smoke. And Doreen has come out with even more cred than before. Hashtag, I run a clan backfire, Modoc. All that's left is for Koi Boy to stop making fish puns. We get it already. And for the robot squirrel to get to tech support, then we can save progress with a clear conscience. <laughs>